and, and I said you cannot forecast all the things that happen. But I don't know what those what that means anymore. It, it's confusing. Uh, it's much different. You know, back when I played, they didn't know what it was. Uh, two very different results for the state teams this last weekend. Number four, Oklahoma State, the Road Warriors get another win. That's nine in a row on the road, 45-24 of Missouri. Oklahoma, well, they had been unbeatable at home until Saturday night. Texas Tech comes in and shocks Norman, 41-38. You know, the same thing happened to me today that happened to the Sooners on Saturday. I failed to set my alarm clock. By the time I woke up, it was far too late. Hi and welcome to The Quest, sponsored by Call Oki. I'm your host, Gavin Fondo. Today we count down the week's top plays from the Sooners and Cowboys, as voted by you, the viewers. Let's go right to number four, and it's a play we call Wilson, You the Man. This may not have been the sexiest play on video, but it certainly was a significant play in the Cowboys' win in Columbia. Late in the third quarter, OSU quarterback Brandon Whedon had just thrown an interception in the orange end zone. Mizzou was about to make the Cowboys pay, punching it in cutting at the lead to seven, but instead, senior D-lineman Wilson Newman strips James Franklin the ball. Sean Lewis jumps on it. A couple of plays later, Joseph Randall broke a 59-yard run, put the Tigers away for good. Newman had seven tackles, two for loss. Sean, had, Sean Lewis had a great day. Nine tackles, one interception, and the fumble recovery. Lewis is named Big 12 Player of the Week for his defensive, Big 12 Defensive Player of the Week for his efforts. And, yes, I would have liked to have Rashetti Jones' crazy interception. But those rapid defensive deflections are hard to shoot, maybe next time. So on to play number three for the week, which hails from the Sooners. Game in Norman late Saturday night. At number three is Can't Catch Kenny. This was another significant play, and actually looked pretty darn good on video. Believe it or not, the Sooners were down 31-7 early in the second half, and Kenny Stills got loose on the sideline, holding the Landry Jones pass for a 58-yard touchdown. OU would score 17 straight points in its quest to rally all the way back. Of course, the Sooners come up just short in their first loss at Owen Field in 39 games. Still had a pretty good game, though. Fake catches for 135 yards, two touchdowns. Andrew Jones played so-so, completing 30 of 55 passes for 412 yards and five touchdowns with one interception. As is usually the case, two plays got the Lions' share of the votes this week. So with over 1,200 votes for the week, at number two is Joe's Stop and go. Under 10 minutes remaining in the third quarter on a beautiful afternoon at Faroe Field in Columbia. At least it was a beautiful day for the Cowboys. Much of that due to the sophomore running back Joseph Randall. His four touchdowns, this one was the prettiest due to that sixth stutter, stutter step Oklahoma at the portal of Mizzou safety looking for his athletic supporter. The run was only 16 yards, but it put OSU up 31-17. Killed any momentum Tigers had carried in at halftime. Randall ran 14 times for 138 yards and three touchdowns. Count one pass for a 13-yard touchdown. OSU rushed for a total of 248 yards on the day. Brandon Wheaton had a pretty nice day, 33 of 49 for 338 yards and three touchdowns. Well, I feel like that every day when I wake up. I have, I mean, I feel like in practice I'm going to have as many, a lot of touchdowns, and I feel like in the game I'm going to do the same. So, uh, I mean, they presented themselves, and I just tried to make the opportunities count. I think overall, if you put it in a nutshell, we played pretty well. I mean, we really did. I mean, we. Uh, we put together some good drives, and, and especially in the first half, we were rolling. And, uh, you know, so, I mean, I think, you know, anytime you can win on the road, I'm, I'm telling you, I mean, you guys, it's, it's huge to win on the road, and especially since it's a good football team. And the Cowboys' win is likely, and likely, their last visit to Columbia, as Mizzou is almost certainly headed for the SEC. So that leaves us with the premier play of the week, as voted on by you, the viewers. Let's see what play you dig the most. Our Call Oki Play of the Week received over 48% of the votes, and over 1,400 votes. It's called Finch's Fantastic Escape. Sure, it was a stormy night in Norman. It was only dampened by the Sooners' performance once they got on the field. This play, at least, was pretty amazing. Not too hard to see why fans clamor to see the lightning quick little running back. This was actually OU's very first play from scrimmage, and when the Houdini of a runner had finished, the play was good for 55 yards. 
No surprise then that it took OU only three plays to drive 69 yards for the touchdown, as Kenny Stills caught a 15-yard touchdown pass less than a minute later. Score was tied at seven early, of course, and we all know what happened from there. Finch did rush for 93 yards, though, on 13 carries. Sooners managed only 124 yards on the ground for the entire game. Not good enough as Oklahoma's clear path to the BCS championship game washes away with the steady rain that fell Saturday night, Saturday night in Norman. So what did Finch and other Sooners have to say on Twitter after the shocking loss? Let's see. At Roy Finch 22 says, watching movies all day, trying to get my mind off the loss. We will rebound because it's just who we are. And then how about Ryan Broyles? At Ryan Broyles, tough loss. We played hard, but didn't put it together for four quarters. Back to the drawing board, just like any other week. And as we continue on, at Tony Jefferson, one said, waking up like this kills me. This will show our true character, character, how we bounce back. Still a long season. Don't give up on us. Much love. And finally, at Travis Lewis, 28, he's an outspoken linebacker, senior for the, for the Sooners. Says, adversity fuels me. Criticism motivates me. Only the strong OU. And of course, if you have any tweets, send us all of those on Twitter, at the quest, the underscore quest, and at News OK Sports. Facebook, of course, News OK Sports Facebook page. This week, another big week. Well, it's always a big week in college football. Number nine now, Oklahoma in the BCS. At number eight, Kansas State in Manhattan, Kansas, 2.30 p.m. That is going to be a huge game as Bob Stoops goes up his, against his former head coach, Bill Snyder, the guy that taught him a lot of what he knows. And then number three, OSU. That's right, they're all the way up to number three in the BCS. They'll play at home against Baylor in homecoming. That should be a good game. Baylor has a great offense. Of course, OSU has a great offense as well. We'll see if Baylor can stop OSU at all. That's going to do it for week eight of the quest. Remember, you can vote every week on News OK on our poll from noon on Monday through noon on Wednesday. Make sure to do that. We'll see you next week on the quest.